if you've been involved in a fairly big project on GitHub, you know that there are usually a lot of issues to manage, opened by project contributors and possibly by users as well. And while the GitHub project boards can help in organizing your issues, as the number grows, they become basically overwhelming. For this reason, you probably want to use something more feature rich and mature to manage your issues and triage them and probably also manage your work. But of course, you don't want to duplicate all the issues manually in another system. Luckily for us, we can now synchronize automatically the GitHub issues with Azure DevOps boards. And today we will see how. This is the three minute series. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave and welcome to a new episode of the three minute series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Before we start, take a moment to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and if you want to learn about DevOps, especially with Azure DevOps and GitHub, just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any new video. This video builds on top of another video I published recently in which I was talking about the integration between Azure Boards and GitHub. I highly encourage you to take a look at the video as well when you're done with this one. You can find the link up here and in the video description. Today instead, we are going to extend that concept and talk about the synchronization between the GitHub issues and the Azure Boards work item. But let's start the clock and get into it. To enable the synchronization between GitHub issues and Azure Boards, first thing to do is to create an action that will synchronize the items. You can set up a workflow yourself and just search for something like issues boards. The action we are going to use is this one by Dan Helm. You can just grab the code and paste it into the action. For demo sake, I already have one action set up and I'm going to walk you through it. First of all, we need to set the proper triggers. We need to respond to the events related to the issues. So the trigger will be issues and then we can specify what types of event we want to respond to. In my case, it's basically everything because I want to be able to intercept whenever an issue is open, edited, deleted, closed, and so on and so forth. Then we have some parameters to pass to the action. First thing you need is to create a personal access token in Azure DevOps to be able to interact with your boards. You just need to have read and write access to work items. It's advisable to save that in a secret inside GitHub instead of putting it here for maximum security. Then you need to use, of course, the GitHub token to be able to access the information in the issues. And then you need to set up the specific parameters for Azure DevOps. You need to specify your organization name, the projects where your Azure boards resides and you want to synchronize to. And then you need to specify what type of work item you want to be created into your Azure boards when an issue is created. In my case, I'm using the Scrum process template. So I want to use a product backlog item. You can specify a user story, or you can go with tasks, bug, and so on and so forth. It's entirely up to you. And then you have to specify the different states of your work item for new, active, and close. And again, this depends on the process template. Last but not least, you can add this. It allows you to, as the name say, bypass the rules that you may have in your Azure boards. Once you have that, you can create an issue. Now let's create an issue. Let's call it my new issue and set a description and let's submit it. When I submit the issue, if I go back to the action, I will see that the action is running. And when I go back to Azure DevOps in the issue from GitHub project, I see that my new issue has been created and it's automatically labeled as GitHub issue and with the GitHub project name. Let's try and open this up. And if I scroll down a little bit, you also see that we have a comment here with all the information on where these issues come from. Let's go back to our issue and let's try to add the label, for example, like documentation. As soon as I do so, and I go back to my action, I see that the action is running once again. And when it completes, we should be able to see the backlog item updated. And in fact, as you have seen, this just appeared. Last but not least, let's close it. Click on close issue. Let's go back to our backlog. And in a moment, we should see the issue move to the done column. And here we go, it's been moved. 
The only thing that is still not supported is comments. If I write a comment over here, that is not synced with the work item in Azure Boards. And this can be a con if you want to have the full status over in your Azure Boards, but it's a pro because you can have different kind of discussion in issues and Azure Boards without impacting one another. So what do you think about this synchronization mechanism? Let me know in the comment section below if you find it helpful or you can use that in one of your projects. You can find a leak in the the leak. Let me know in the comment section below. Section cool because of what I want. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave.